Hey guys, this is Aaron. I want to take a look at a concept in SketchUp today that's a little off the beaten path. It's the idea of cardinal points. So we're going to hop right in and just see how cardinal points work and uh, talk a little bit about what they are. So I'm going to start. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm just going to draw a circle in here. It's a standard circle, 24 sides. I'm going to draw it. I'm going to snap out on the red axes. That's an important thing, by the way. I see a lot of models where they're People are having issues with lining up circles. Um, circles, of course, are segmented. And as you move around, you can see those segments move. So I generally recommend people always align circles to one axis. If all my circles are on the red axis and all my circles are 24 sides, then they can all line up. And if I have like a peg going into a hole, something like that, it's uh, easy to line up if they're drawn along the same axis. So I'm going to draw along the red axis. And now we're going to look at the cardinal points on this circle. Now, cardinal points does have an official definition of what that is, probably somewhere. Um, I'm going to make up my own SketchUp definition for it. And what I'm going to say is I'm going to say this has to do with uh, the handle that controls the bulge of an arc. So right here with the circle, I'm going to go grab my move tool and I'm going to click on this endpoint right here and I'm going to drag it and see what happens? It gets bigger and smaller. If I click anywhere else with my move tool, I grab the next point up, I'm moving it around. If I grab this line, I'm moving it around. If I grab in the surface, I'm moving it around. But if I grab this corner right here, the top corner, or any of these other four corners, it's going to actually drag the size of it out. So it's actually, what it's doing is it's actually changing the, uh, the distance of that diameter of the circle. So here's a cool thing. So this, that's, that's good to know. That's right off the bat. I can use move to resize by clicking on the corners. But we can go a little further. I'm going to draw a line right here across the middle. That's right from the bottom to the top. And same thing. If I go to move now and I grab this corner, watch what happens now. I actually change the bulge of that circle. So I can actually do some, some weird, crazy stuff like that. And I can keep going. I can grab a line right down here from the middle. Now I've chopped this half into quarters. Same thing, if I come in here to move and I grab, say, just say this line somewhere, I'm gonna move it around. If I grab it right here in the middle point and drag, look, I'm actually changing the bulge there. Same thing over here, of course. I can do that kind of thing. Again, if I, if I go from that middle point to here, I cut it in half again, I've now created two arcs. Each arc has three lines, one, two, three, one, two, three. So it's not a point this time, but if I grab that middle line in that arc and I drag it out, watch what happens. My arc is actually increasing. It's not a pretty arc, it's only three lines, so it's kind of ugly. But you can see I'm actually, rather than moving it, like what happened if I grabbed it right here, I'm actually changing that, that, uh, the radius of that arc. So that's a pretty cool thing to have in your pocket. Anytime you need to do that, it's just the center point of that arc. And this works not just with circles. I'm showing you on a circle, but if I just draw an arc right here, any arc, if I go to move this middle point, I'll be changing it like that. And if I come in here and I bisect that shape, then the middle of this other point, oops, missed it. The middle point on this existing arc then becomes the cardinal point and I can change the bulge there. This is also very cool for something like this. If I come in here with a circle, make a circle and I'm gonna use push pull to pull it up. If I come in here and do something like, uh, I'm gonna grab a rectangle I'm going to hit the controller option key to go to center snap and I'm going to put it right here at the middle and I'm going to drag it up to this corner. So I'm drawing a square in the middle of the circle. So what this has just done, by drawing that square, I've actually created four arcs, four equal arcs. Each of these arcs, I can grab the cardinal point with move and I can move it around. Whoa, I got a little too crazy. Drag it a little bit too far. I'm just going to drag it back and let it snap to that square. And what I'll end up with is a solid shape that changes from a circle on the bottom to a square. 
kind of a cool cool shape to be able to make with just a couple of clicks. And of course, I do some cool like maybe scale it or um, I don't know. I can make some different shapes that way. But it all comes down to understanding those cardinal points. So the thing to remember with cardinal points is that they exist on any arc. As long as you use move to grab the center point of that arc and pull it in and out, you'll actually be increasing or decreasing that bulge. Hopefully this is a skill that helps you out in your SketchUp modeling. Maybe it's something that takes you a little bit further and, and maybe gives you a tip to make something you haven't been able to make before. Regardless, let me know what you thought. If it's a good tip, bad tip, you got a better tip, leave us a comment down below. While you're there, maybe subscribe or give us a like, but let us know what you think of the video and let us know if you have some other ideas that would make good skill builders. Thank you.